Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And Scorpio, we're going to be finding out everything that spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation for Scorpio in sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> Uh, you got to like, you know what? I know it can be hard here, but you got to trust, you know, that the universe will provide for you an answer, a solution. Maybe this is a time where you have to just kind of, you know, take a step back from, you know, trying to um, get something done quicker than it than on its own time. So we do have this thing about control. <laughs> uh, we might be feeling controlled right now. I mean, not all of you are controlled by, you know, someone, but, you know, if that's the case, well, you know, it's time to make a decision. It's time to, you know, reclaim your power. And spirit is saying, just relinquish your control to, you know, over dependency on another or others right now and just watch and wait, you know, and uh, uh, others of you, um, Scorpios, it's like, you know, it's like you want to pick something before it's, you know, really ripe, you know, or blossom. So just make more effort to have patience, I guess. I feel that there, there's something strong too with engaging in things right now that just keeps you occupied in the sense of self-nourishment, love, joy. Let's get more too with the effort here. <clears throat> And also, Scorpio, Spirit's saying that if you come into a place of just being in your Queen of Cups or King of, King of Cups, because that's where you're at home. Okay, let's see. <laughs> it's like, whoa, this is like moving really fast here. Um, you're going to find things be far more effortless. Okay, see, nurture the harvest. Just be with the harvest. Act as if. Okay, you may be getting used to some type of new position in life or, you know, a situation where you may be questioning whether you have the ability to nurture the harvest. And yes, you do. So there is something right now in plain view that spirit is saying, you know, pay attention to those things, because as you do, you are literally growing more gold and fortune in, and blessings in your life. The other thing too, Scorpio, this is coming out really strong in your energy lately. Just a lot of confirmation about <clears throat> you being in the position of receiving good fortune, great fortune, blissful fortune that, you know, you do not have to justify or, um, make an excuse for what you have and what you're becoming and what you will have in the future, because you do deserve some type of royalty in life. So keep your head up high. Know that the divine mother is coddling you, <laughs> pretty much spoiling you. Why don't you just be spoiled? And don't pick something before it's right timing, or don't pick something that maybe is not you know, good for you, you know, mother knows best, right? So just trust in the divine mother and trust that you are meant to have good fortune and abundance in your life to feel comfortable. You know, you've got ancestors that have done a lot of work through, you know, what hundreds, thousands and gazillion years, who knows? But they want to see you enjoy the harvest by just nurturing the harvest. And that's exactly, I mean, look at the um, card here with the effort. You know, this is Mother Earth. <clears throat> this is doing what we need to do to just be in a place of love, compassion, feeling good, being more comfortable in your own skin than ever. So something is happening here where spirit is saying you deserve this. You deserve this good, this good, um, life or lifestyle. You're also nurturing something when it comes to maybe 
something from infancy to maturity, or maybe something about you that's new. You could be reinventing yourself. You could be, you know, planning new things. So just give into that. Don't worry about what we're trying to maybe get too quickly here in a sense. Uh, what else for Scorpio? <clears throat> I'm seeing a palace here too. So there's something, you know, comforting about a home, a home life. Clear out the clutter. This is, this is good. Actually, this is part of making that effort, right? So that you can, you can give <clears throat> and tend to and focus on what's important, the harvest, not the distractions or the clutter. You know, think about this too. When you, you know, any uh, parent out there, I mean, you, you, you know, or, uh, you know, if any of you have even brought home a new, um, you know, kitten <laughs> like me <laughs> or a puppy or whatever, or maybe there was, <clears throat> you know, a guest or someone, and you want to make sure that room is ready for them and you're clearing out the old stuff. Well, that's the idea here. So yes, you are in this place of <clears throat> maybe even clearing out something old and neg negative when it comes to what you, <clears throat> you know, what you truly deserve. You know, the matriarch is the empress here. Okay. And when she's a little bit backwards or challenged, she doesn't feel like the empress. She feels the opposite of the empress. She's in a place of desperation, questioning herself, you know, him or herself, whether you're male or female. Um, but spirit is saying you're in a good place here. You you're actually in a good place. So, you know, continue to see what, you know, you don't want anymore. This, this is a great time actually to be clear about your decisions, um, to not put decisions off clear out the clutter. It's only going to, uh, create more of a <clears throat> serene environment for you and invite more, uh, good en energies towards you. Let's see what else for Scorpio and also Scorpio. I am getting maybe a sense of the devil card or four of pentacles with this control, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus is coming through also Libra with the Empress. Uh, yeah. So anyhow, I'm just putting those Zodiac signs out there. Take it how you want to. Don't worry if you don't care about it. Let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your situation. Also, some of you may be healing with a mother or you may be, you know, there may be something with, um, something about maternal instincts as well. Yeah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Mother of earth, fertile ground. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's like you're more than ready or you're preparing for some type of like grand symphony in a sense where you get to sit back and watch, relax, and just enjoy your harvest. And if you've been questioning whether this is a good time to clear out the clutter, remember we were just talking about this is a good time actually to don't put decisions off, make those decisions. You, you know, you've got this fertile ground here. And so this is a place where we are creating sustainability and yes, healthy boundaries. A lot of you, you know, you shouldn't question whether or not you deserve great wealth or a good lifestyle because you do. So enjoy it because a lot of you are sitting real pretty. You just may be you know, wanting another piece of something here, but we have to have patience. Now, some of you just have patience. You're coming into this place of, you know, full glory. <laughs> uh, we got the queen of pentacles. I mean, look at the money just piling up here. It's stacking up. Okay. Now you may need to control spending as well, especially if, you know, you tend to like to spend money because the mother of earth likes to spend some money. Now we may need to know our limits though, right? Control yourself a little bit better, right? You're sitting good. If you already have enough of something, then don't get more of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but I do know uh, we may need to, you know, we may need to save a little bit more. Okay. Cause you're nurturing the harvest. 
All right. Yeah, I feel that you're, you know, being asked not to touch your resources. Um, I mean, just use them wisely here and plan for that. It's going to pay off anyway, Scorpio. Okay, now I do see something with a beautiful person too you could be dealing with or inviting into your energy here. <clears throat> this person will have a, exude lots of confidence. Um, yes, and beauty, you know, someone who just is also generous, practical, nurturing, okay? Maybe even sexy here. I'm seeing something about the classy, sexy. <laughs> Anyhow, let's continue. And I just feel that's you. But anyhow, let's continue and see what else for Scorpio. Wait, you guys have to wait for something here. There's something about reaching full harvest, right? Some of you, yes, because it's a general reading. You, 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 you obtain what you need to. You just need to focus on this goodness. Don't question it. Others of you, you're coming into this, you know, harvest here. Don't, don't, don't do something before it's timing. We got love here. We got a relationship that continues to grow closer. Ooh, that's nice. This could be family. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. I mean, put this in your situation. I mean, it did land on the matriarch. The po okay, positive, re uh, excuse me, the positive resolution, resolution of a conflict. So we're, you know, in a place of connecting with another now, some of you, you're getting ready to clear out the clutter because the mother of earth is signifying being prepared that you are or will be entering a romantic relationship or some type of important relationship at hand here. There could be something with maybe even dress to impress. I don't know. Look at this mother of earth here. She, she looks really elegant to me. All right, we got water sign coming through. Let's get a little bit more too with the uh, two of cups for you. Ah, could be confused about love here. There are commitment, <laughs> confusion. Uh, we got to re relinquish our control right now. Yeah, too. When it comes to love, relationships, resolution, forgiveness, right? For right now, just focus on what you can clear out. Every, something is going to make sense here. Um, also, again, remember, I feel that, you know, spirit wants me to emphasize that it's a good time to make decisions. Don't put them off. Okay. The more that you get clear about your decisions, make them with confidence, the clearer you will be. The confusion will be eradicated, especially when it comes to commitments in life, not just like maybe a love commitment, but things that are really important to you that you do want to commit to. Listen to this though. There's a, um, a relationship that continues or that will continue to grow closer. Keep forgiving yourself and others right now. It might be time just to be a little bit yielding in a sense. Okay. There's a, Ooh, there's, there's a card that wants to come out with this commitment. I even sense Hierophant with this. Um, Taurus is associated with the Hierophant. Let's see. Some of you, take this if it resonates too, because I'm getting this thing too. Some of you, you've made a commitment here. Now, if something or someone is throwing you off of something that you already are secure and loyal in, then you may need to just not engage. You may need to really think clearly. Okay. But let's get a little bit more about this commitment. Oh, we, oh, ha, 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 Ooh, Scorpio, you came in powerful. And yes, there, there is something that we have, um, when it comes to a very strong, you know, partner, we've got the patriarch to the matriarch. The emperor is here to the empress. This is really good. Especially when you're talking about commitment. Holy cow. 
Yeah, we. I feel like you're not, don't rush into something here just because it might be tempting or if you feel that you're settling here. So, something is making its way or you're making your way. Something's happening here where all you got to do is nurture the harvest. Stay committed on your path too because there's something about you either being in this place right now or um, taking you know a position of great leadership and authority, commanding some type of respect. You're not budging from something. You're being unapologetic here too about what you are worthy of. And, and I, you know, I feel to say this too, Scorpio, um, especially when you have come from a place that maybe, you know, things were tight, things were, you know, you had to go struggle or maybe whatever you've gone through the ups and downs, um, Sometimes we can even feel bad because we want others to have what we have, or we want, we want things to be fair for everyone. You know, I mean, I know I feel that way. You know, I wish there wasn't a thing that we had to, you know, compete or feel that we're competing or comparing. I wish that everybody, you know, we could all just have, um, our fair share of abundance without it feeling like a struggle for some. And that's what you're finding out is that it, it's never meant to, and it shall never be a struggle for you. You have this royalty in your bloodline, in your, and if it's not your bloodline, Scorpio, it's in your soul family bloodline. You are inheriting some type of position and richness in life that you are destined to have. So be unapologetic. Others can find their way. Everything is always going to be available, you know, for others. But right now I feel that you are putting your attention to putting more effort towards being in the strong position and in your place and not feeling out of place and everything will come together. And I do see a really good situation when it comes to maybe a, a marriage, a commitment, dedication, loyalty, with your life, with someone. Oh, it's good. Okay. What else? I mean, cause we do have the two of cups. This is love. Now something I'm really drawn to is this stripe right down the middle of this, um, a frog. I'm liking this stripe and it's like, something about staying focused. And now we have the chariot, <laughs> an important achievement. Ooh, yes, you too. There was somebody else. I can't remember who it was, but they're achieving something important. Hmm. As well as you self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. I can see that <laughs> for a lot of you Scorpios, you know, some type of public recognition, um, just being noticed more or whatever. Right. But there's something about seeing something through completion. Do not give up. And in fact, in fact, things are far more stable and secure than you realize. This is why slow and steady is best right now. But there is something that's leading you towards a new direction or don't lose, you know, your drive right now, you know? And, and in fact, keep clearing out the clutter <laughs> or whatever you feel that you need to make a decision on because it could just be in the mind. Maybe we, we have so much th like to do or think about, maybe we just need to write a checklist, start checking them off <laughs> and get them done, you know, and here you are driving in a sense in a straight line here. Let's see where this chariot is going. You're doing what you can to lighten your load here with the chariot so that you can travel at great speed in a sense. You know, if we are t taking on too much on that chariot, it's going to slow you down. And it's not bad to slow down, you know. Okay, three of wands and three. Okay, there's something here about 
receiving some type of result, reward, abundance, especially after we've had great disappointment, you're finding your way through some type of um, heartbreak situation too for a lot of you Scorpios. You know, you're turning something into fortune, blessings. It's like the other thing that I'm seeing is it's like your rite of passage here. So be open to receiving the goodness that's coming towards you. Watch and wait with the three of wands. You are recovering from some type of, you know, even a feeling of separation. What's important for Scorpio to know about this three of swords? We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through here. What's important for Scorpio to know, Scorpio to know about that three of wands? Also, Scorpio, I can't, I can see that you are, um, you know, again, be unapologetic, but because I feel that you're moving on to greater things here. And, and you know what, if others are meant to catch up with you, they will, you know, you could be like, there's a situation where you're leaving, you know, this past behind and, you know, others could be heartbroken about you too. Right. But you've got to stay strong here because there is something about you having some type of important achievement. And it's really true because here we have the Empress and the Emperor and the Mother of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. There's something really strong and powerful where you're being more, I guess, grounded in a sense. You're maturing in a place of, you know, vastness, richness, goodness. Okay, five of air. An unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation. Review everyone's motives. Oh my goodness. So you may need to watch out for something or someone here for some of you guys. But look at this. There, there is something here. Okay, Scorpio, you may resonate with the last SOS reading. The link to that video is in the description box below because there may be something that absolutely you felt was unfair. And yes, it may have been unfair, but you have to trust in the great mother, the great father, the divine, there is something about you, you know, attaining what it is that you need for full recovery from some type of hurt, some type of betrayal. Just learn what you can from the situation and don't give any more of your energy to it because you're clearing out the clutter. Look, the clutter is like this, you know, it's like all tied up here. You're clearing out the clutter of the heart. That way you're getting clearer and clearer and clearer. You know, there's something about fun times actually awaits for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. What else? This one wants to come out. Act as if. Even if it feels uncomfortable, you know, just act as if you just, you know, copy others or watch and observe others, especially because you have or will be landing in a new place, new territory. You know, there's definitely a sense of up leveling here. Okay. You don't, you're not necessarily losing yourself by copying anyone or, you know, cause I don't see that. Right. And who really, who gives a shit, right? You're just doing things to up your game and to feel comfortable, but you know, you are not faking it till you make it. You're just acting as if feel abundant. Like how would you feel anyways with it all here or what it, whatever it is that you want, but also you don't have to go too fast. You don't need to rock the boat either. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. We do have something here where you can watch others, um, you can even seek out some type of guidance if you want to, but you know, you're, you're just observing here because there's a, this period where you're coming into where you're going to be dancing with other souls in a comfortable way because you've learned more about the ways you're learning something about the way of some type of new, maybe even environment or an environment change. Cause there's this thing about this palace and I just see this thing about royalty. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me 
if a lot of you have struggled earlier in life only to find great fortune later, right? Because it's come and it's coming on, on its due time. You know, it's divine timing when we are ready for it. So just act as if, be comfortable. You can try new things or not. <laughs> okay, what else? Empress, she's coming out again. What's this one? This bottom one wants to show it. Oh my God, okay, this. <laughs> I'm telling you, the energy is so strong. The Empress and the Emperor came out again. Okay, seriously, we don't even have that many tarot cards out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six tarot cards. Oh, no, seven, eight. Oh, my God, just keep adding them on. <laughs> and now we got the Empress and the Emperor coming out again. <laughs> okay, lavish abundance. Okay, be unapologetic about the lavish abundance. You deserve it. Nurture yourself and others, okay? And look at that, that effort. Give birth to your dreams, make a plan, clear out the clutter first, and then you can get more focus on your dreams if you're not sure how to, right? Because some of you were, we may be still in a state of confusion and hurt. Organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. This is that chariot too. So here you are, like I see the black and the white horse as the divine feminine and the divine masculine together integrated here, running along side by side here at great speed if we want. But most importantly, <laughs> it's like strength here. Give me more about this um, energy here. It's kind of funny how they came out again. There can even be like possibly another power couple that you unite with, you know, a sense of soul family here. Oh my God, you are so, you, I mean, I just want to say you're so lucky anyways. You know, Scorpio, I just, I don't know if you do feel or you have gone through periods of struggle. Now, listen, I'm telling you from my own experience, the past will try to trigger old patterns, especially when you do start to receive good things in life. Don't make an excuse for these things. I'm telling you, do not make an excuse. You will come into or be in a place of generosity service, whatever feels good and right for you. Look at this. Look at this. There's always enough. You can handle it. Things are far more stable and secure than you realize, or it will be very soon here. You're literally on the right path. I know, I know something threw us off though here, something threw up, threw us off and you are handling many priorities at once. But self-discipline, self-control, this is effort. This is what's going to get things going and moving in the right direction. And it will feel effortless because you're focused on the right things and releasing control off the things we can't really control anyways. Something about heritage. There's something about heritage. It's in your heritage, this fortune, this abundance, um, feeling complete. Okay. What else? Wow. The chariot again. <laughs> Oh boy, you're going to be just fine. Um, this is the thing though. I feel we are, we're really, we really, we really got to slow down on something though. We got to slow down on something. There's something you need to watch out for. Um, and I'm only guiding you. Okay. You, you can do what you want. I'm not here to tell you, but I'm just here to help and guide 
there is something that is an unwise choice if we're trying to maybe get revenge or get the result that we want, especially if we've been hurt, betrayed. Um, now that may not resonate for all of you because it could just be that we are battling many priorities at once and we don't know what the hell to focus on. <laughs> we don't know what the hell to do first. Oh boy, but we have, we have something strong about victory. We have something strong about you being on the course and, and being on this place of, you know, great stamina too in life. There could be something significant uh, about a car, a vehicle, having maybe even a luxury car, you know, you deserve these good things, right? I mean, dream the world into being, you are doing such. Let's get more about this again. Why is this again, this chariot? Oh my God. I just see like a twinning energy here too. <laughs> I mean, Empress, Emperor, the chariot, the chariot. I mean, come on. <laughs> hmm. Give me more about this chariot again. What's important for Scorpio to know about this? This is all about your drive, your willpower. Now, the other thing I will say to watch out for uh, Scorpio is don't mix being overconfident and lack of motivation. That's a recipe for disaster in the future. I'm speaking from experience too. So, you know, <laughs> let's get more about this chariot though. Look at this mother of swords. You know, you're, you're leading the freaking way here there, you know, bullshit cannot blur your vision. <laughs> you can see the truth. You can see the truth. If you want to see the truth, you can. You are a true seer or there's something about you, you know, cutting out whatever you need to cut out or be decisive about so that you can be focused here. And once you get focused, you know, you start, you'll start seeing things really going in a way that feels effortless. So all you got to do is be strong in your stance of making these decisions. The mother of swords is the queen of swords. You have experience and you have wisdom. So don't question yourself. You've got what it takes. Just be, be the power now. Cause some of you, you might be questioning something about power or, um, you know, ability to move on or take the lead. Yes, you do. Okay. We may need to even laugh at a situation here because you're going to be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see what else you're really, what you're doing Scorpio is you're figuring out what's nonsense to you. What's been nonsensical, right? And you're staying disciplined and it really truly is paying off. Continue. I would, if I was you, I would. Oh my God. The nine of swords, this son of a gun guy, dang anxiety card, stress card, sleepless nights. We are worried. We're upset. Okay. We're giving too much into worry though, that it may be becoming like it's growing into its own little monster here. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, nine of swords. I, I told you things are far more secure than you realize. Now the other thing with this nine of swords that I'm getting. Okay. Is that this could, this could trigger trauma here or a trauma response. Just listen to me. It could, you know, we could be in a place of being desperate because we're scared of shit or we're nervous, uh, you know, or we're just, we don't know. Ooh. But don't, don't do that. This is, you know, trust spirit here. Look at the universe's hand. What? Well, let's get more to nine of swords here. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Something's going to start making sense for you here. Actually, uh, clearing out the clutter is going to help too with the mind, your environment. See if there's anything in your environment that you can rid yourself of. We do have judgment here. See, you're awakening to new possibilities. Just be compassionate with yourself and others right now. 
don't, don't even judge yourself. Don't even judge others. Just be in a place of focus on this abundance that you are. You're retrieving what's rightfully yours. Can I just say that? This is really, a, this is the truth. You're retrieving what's always destined or has been yours. You know, there's strong ancestral energy that's coming through and it's very powerful. And they're here reminding us, the collective, what is rightfully ours to not engage into something or someone that can actually uh, suck all of the fortune out of you or block it. So we are right. It's like rise and shine, Scorpio, rise and shine. You've learned the ways you're passing something when it comes to great success, uh, turning wisdom, or actually, you know, what I heard is turning failure into wisdom, turning it into success. Don't hesitate or don't give any more energy to the past here. You're, you're, you're over it. You are like, this is literally rise and shine here. What else? Some of you too, you do stress that others may judge you, you know, you're just going to have to ignore it. Here's two of wands. This is, you know, planning here. This is also being available for partnerships or things that really can expand your vision, your goals, maybe even travel dreams for some of you. You better start planning for future financial gains right? Acting as if, you know what I did a long time ago, actually, I wrote down exactly how much I wish I was making. And I just wrote out my budget just like I was. And I literally, it was like maybe 10 or 15 years ago, <laughs> but I'm, I'm telling you it does work. I'd rather have done that 10 or 15 years ago and wait, you know, to get the goodness that, you know, God has provided, uh, the angels, people, you know, it's all, it all works together. And you are really in a place of retrieving what is rightfully yours. Don't get too caught up in this heartache. Okay. Recovery is always going to be available. In fact, you are, and there's always going to be a spiritual solution to any problem that you have. What else? And also I see this thing with the judgment and that nine of wands where, um, history is not gonna, or you're not going to repeat history on something here. Okay. Let's see. What is this? Seven of oh, six of pentacles. Yes. Nice. This is about synergy. This is about retrieving what's rightfully yours, being able to give and receive, right? Feeling abundant and also be open to, you know, the, your material needs being met in mir miraculous ways, unexpected ways. This is a card of balance, but look at it, it's growing. So there's a lot of good energy. So six of pentacles, we found balance. We, we even found harmony and balance within our own financial situation as well. Now, if you felt like you got breadcrumbed in a situation, that's a possibility too. You deserve more and you know it. So just keep continuing to give what you want to give to. Also, there's a big, strong indication about, um, holding true or staying committed to your boundaries. What else for Scorpio? Oh, we got the tower. we got some kind of great awakening. Something is shaken up here. We could have, you know, dealt with something falling down that needed to fall down, right? Or we could have dealt with some type of disaster. Let's get a little bit more with this tower, though. Ah! Could even be something, you know, what I'm seeing is like, if there was a tree, a tree blocking your path, <laughs> it's getting, 
is getting uh, blown up here. And it's, it's, oh, that's not, that's not good. High priestess. Oh my gosh. There is something about you having some type of great enlightenment, epiphany, and also trust. If something has fallen away or know that if something tries to block your path, it will be removed. So you are in a place of giving into being passive. You're not having to force anything. Look at that. You're letting go of trying to control it. Just watch it happen. You'll know exactly what to do. The path will be clear. Your mind will be clear. Your heart will be clear. Be clear now. Act as if. This is the secret ingredient to manifesting this goodness here. What else for Scorpio? Heal. Take time for meditation if you need to, right? We have a lot of confusion there. You're just nurturing the harvest. That's what you're doing. So pay attention to the things that you feel good about giving and receiving here and stay aligned with that. You have great, you have a great thing about prosperity. I mean, it's just all over here. We may need to take time to heal. We may need to take time to slow down, right? Most importantly, we're staying focused though. We could even, you know, spirit, if you feel like you're battling with someone, it may be time just to lay the swords down for the time being, right? Something or someone could be at a distant, but this is a time where you can recuperate and reclaim your mind and feel empowered. So you're just putting effort towards nourishing the mind, the soul, because as you're doing that, you're clearing out the clutter as well and making room for something brilliant here mm -hmm. where I see, you know, your abilities will only be enhanced because a high priestess is, you know, knowing, has a knowingness, has the ability to perceive things in a way that is spiritual and enlightened. See, so we're seeing something way different here. What else for Scorpio? Four of Wands, Scorpio, you're coming into some type of completion. Maybe some of you, you already are, but this is also commitment. This could be about home. Yep, we are you know, feeling good about some type of solid foundation, feeling rooted, grounded with you and others, feeling safe, secure. It's going to happen. Now, some of you, it might be time. It might be an indication too, where maybe it is, you know, staying in more a little bit, taking some time to heal, uh, to be decisive, you know, we may be working around the home, making our environment more beautiful, clean, whatever. Do that because I'm seeing bliss here. I'm seeing us nurturing the harvest and then some and having fun <laughs> with the four of wands. What else? Okay, that's it for those. So Scorpio, let's find out how spirit is currently helping you that you need to be aware of. Scorpio, you might be, you might, you might be inspired to buy some type of jewelry or something, or you may receive one. Okay. Cause you deserve it. <laughs> Maybe a necklace. That's kind of what I'm seeing, but anyhow, let's continue and see how spirit is helping you that you need to be aware of. Oh my gosh. Laying a solid foundation. Here's the four of wands too. And you do have the matriarch, the patriarch, the emperor and the empress. Okay. So whatever may have been false or, you know, that's not going to hold up must come down. So there's no worries here because you're building upon something that is going to give you a sense of security so you're gathering what you need to gather now, not in the past, right? So you're gathering all these things that you need now. 
you're nurturing the harvest and being careful with things too, right? Because you've learned something when it comes to, um, uh, you know, attainment, sustainability, being resourceful when we, when we need to. But you can rest assured that there's something being, you know, built for you here. This is how spirit is helping you. Literally, the emperor and the empress showed up twice here for you. So it's like, wow, very, very strong um, partnership you've got with spirit. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Oh, the other thing, too, that spirit's helping you with is saving money. Saving your fortune. <laughs> What is what does Scorpio have to look forward to in the near future? Truth and not avoiding something anymore. You know, you're coming out. We have the seven of swords here. So we have something about transparency or seeing the truth. Uh, we could also be in a place of really getting some type of plan in, in action here, maybe even a strategic plan. But if there has been secrets, <laughs> there, there, there's something about exposure here. And the other thing that I see too is not avoiding you spreading your wings, whether that's a moth or a butterfly, I don't know, but scared to spread the wings here. It's like we might be avoiding that, right? Because we, we, felt, we felt hurt for doing something when we did spread our wings. But Spirit is saying, don't. That's not the, you, this is not the time to do that. You have to be in a place of feeling effortlessness, a place where you can breathe, that you can spread your wings. You're not a, you're, you're really in a place of being strong and decisive. And that's where the magic lies, Scorpio. So this is a good time to make those decisions on laying that solid foundation and watch the magic work through you because you are being taken care of. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light.